Hi there, Dylan. Nice to see that you have sent us your first set of essays. My name is Ellen. I'll be doing the correction for you today. Let's take a look at what you wrote. The topic is schools uh, that are more entertaining, so let's see what you said. Schools are often seen as a place for educational purpose, but some people believe this should not restrict the idea of it being an engaging place. This essay agrees that schools are not limited for education only and will discuss how universities with a broad range of facilities receive more students and the purpose of schools being a principal place of communication. Okay, so um, let's talk about this a little bit. Um, it's lovely in many, many, many ways. Um, but I want you to pay attention very closely to the task. It talks about schools being more entertaining. These are two of your keywords here, all right? And a lot of times um, it's good to underline these and really make sure you understand what they mean by them. So by schools, we mean schools. We mean uh, primary and secondary education. So talking about universities is inappropriate. We don't want to talk about universities here, okay? So that's one thing. Then in the paragraph you talked about school being an engaging place, about facilities, and you talked about a place of communication. Um, so I don't understand where or how and if you did talk about entertainment at all, all right? These are not synonymous. So the words that I just mentioned are not synonyms for entertainment. So instead, I want you to think about what some synonyms are um, appropriate for entertainment. And that's what you should have focused on here rather than talking about communication and engagement and facilities, okay? Because as an examiner, my first thought would be, okay, this is a red flag. Perhaps, perhaps this essay is not going to be on topic, okay? So that's something I really want you to be careful of. Let's move on and see what you did. An intriguing educational premise often receives more attention than those which appear mundane. This is because many students often look for recreational facilities as their secondary objective when choosing a school. For example, a survey by World Education Council in 2019 has shown that, uh, not has shown, but showed that the majority of international school students chose their universities with libraries, gym, or swimming pools. What happened here? It showed that, okay, showed that the majority of international students chose their universities with, uh, chose their, chose universities with libraries, gyms, or swimming pools rather than those only with classrooms and basic amenities. Therefore, it is crucial that a school invests in its amenity sector so more students will consider enrolling. Okay, so this is exactly what I was worried about. This is not about entertainment, okay? And it's also not about school. Here you are focusing on, on, on university, and I feel like this is a misreading of the task. So this is something that would certainly cost you in terms of task achievement. So um, as you continue in the course, this is something I'm going to ask you to focus on a lot, really making sure that you understand what they're asking you and focusing just on that and nothing else. So let's move into the next paragraph. A school is also a place where people develop friendships with an S and connections which may prove vital in their futures. This is due to the fact that many students look to their teachers or professors for advice on carving their career path. For instance, a study by Lawyer Association Worldwide has found that many American law students in 2011 found their first jobs via recommendations by their lecturers. For this reason, a school can serve as a place of building communication for the students. All right, this is really off topic right here. Um, re now, remember what the essay asked you to talk about. It had two viewpoints. Schools must be more entertaining, and then schools must just educate. Those were the two viewpoints, and they asked you which you agree with. So um, what you did here is basically you said neither, but that wasn't one of your options. I mean, you're now talking about communication and connections and so forth and so forth. So I again feel like this is off topic, and it's like a misunderstanding of, of the task, okay? So um, you were supposed to analyze which one you agreed with and um, support that. 
that viewpoint. Um, could you have talked about the opposite point of view that you didn't support? Yeah, you could have, and you could have talked about all the reasons why you don't support it. But this was really um, not what the focus was supposed to be. Um, I already established in the previous paragraph that you misinterpreted schools to mean edu uh, universities. Uh, it doesn't here. They really do mean primary, uh, maybe secondary education as well. Um, so I do feel like this is an off-topic response. It's not your writing itself. You're writing the grammar, the vocabulary, all of it is lovely. But um, as you continue in the course, I want you to focus on the questions, spend some time understanding them, making sure you're writing on the right thing. Okay. So um, in conclusion, it is widely known that students tend to enroll in universities with more side activities available in the premise and connection in the premise on the premises and connections are often nurtured during the student's tertiary education years. Okay, um, so I think we've established what the problems are with this essay. It's not your uh, grammar or vocabulary. In fact, that's a great place to be because if those are at a nice high level, then um, what we're really looking at together is trying to fix some of these test uh, taking skills and some of these writing skills, which can be done really easily and relatively um, painlessly. So um, that's actually a good place to be at. So let's take a look at the enjoyable activity with a child. Reading plays a pivotal role in children's education, but the children should be involved in engaging activities in order to build a wider range of skills. This, yes, essay will discuss that how game consoles and physical activity, no, this essay will discuss how game consoles and physical activities assist in the positive growth of children with reasons and examples. Game consoles can be beneficial to children because playing console games can develop skills not achievable by just reading. This is due to the games prompting and training the children to use their active skills such as spatial awareness and cognitive skills. For instance, a recent study by Sunny University in 2018 has shown, uh, showed actually, showed that children who engage more, uh, we engage more. Mm, how about who play more on or who are involved? You can't say you engage more or you're involved in game consoles. So how about they just play more on game consoles such as Nintendo Switch, have faster response time than their counterparts. Therefore, playing computer game console, no, playing game consoles gives a clear advantage and provides a window for children to learn in areas not obtainable by just reading. All right, I would have liked that if it wasn't so similar to this. Achievable by just reading, obtainable by just reading. Uh, you are supposed to write a sentence that relates back to this. Make sure that lexically and grammatically they're different enough to not feel like you're just copying it, okay? All right, so secondly, prolonged reading cannot be encouraged because reading is a form of receptive skill. By doing sports activities, you now here I wanted contrast. Uh, so something like in contrast, doing sport activities, the child receives the children receive a chance to develop physical skills. For example, a recent sport console game called Ring Fit Adventure was introduced to help people exercise in their homes while also learning about the human body. For this reason, the child is educated on human anatomy without the the, such as the medical terms for human muscle, and has acquired physical abilities. Okay. In conclusion, reading alone is not sufficient enough to attain or enhance skills outside its area, and children should undertake more sports activities in order to further expand their knowledge capacity and train their physical capabilities. All right, that's lovely. All right, so this is nice. Um, a lot of good things, a lot of good vocabulary, a lot of good grammar. Uh, there is one issue. Again, it goes back to task achievement and looking at the question a little more carefully. You were supposed to talk about an enjoyable activity with a child and better skills, okay, compared to reading, but not just better skills, look at this, creativity. You were also supposed to talk about creativity here and what enjoyable activity can develop uh, creativity better than reading can. So you spent a paragraph talking about game consoles, a paragraph talking about sports, but there was nothing about creativity. And I'm gonna go as far as saying that I thought you should have had a paragraph alone just on creativity, because look, they separated it here. So they wanted to talk about better skills. They didn't just throw creativity as one of the skills, but they actually separated it, which shows us that they want us to talk about it. You see, these ands in IELTS are super important. When you see an and, that means they want you to talk about both things. When you see an or, eh, you could go either way. 
but with an and you absolutely have to cover both sides of that and so you need to talk about creativity here okay um, one thing that you did that I really liked is that you carried this idea of reading throughout your essay you talked about it obviously here you mentioned it here you mentioned it here and then you mentioned it again in your conclusion and that was really good because then we never lost sight of the fact that we were comparing these other activities to reading I thought you did that really successfully so that was really good all right so let's talk about what your next steps need to be the first one is to correct these essays based on the suggestions in this video all right and then send those back to me along with your corrected essays you need to send us an error correction list your mistakes and the next each mistake what the correct version is that's a list you'll add to with every essay you get back from us and then the third thing you need to do of course is write a new set of essays so try to do this within the next day or so so you can keep up your momentum and all the progress you're making um, and we'll meet back here with that next set of essays okay wish you good luck and i'll be waiting for your next writing assignment